This is the story of Spendius, the survivor. He has traveled far and worked at many trades. His fate took a turn for the worse on the day he was captured by the Carthaginians and was enslaved in their great city. Superb are the temples that rise at the heart of the city, in the sacred precinct. Salambo, the grand priestess of Tanith, is resplendently beautiful. But Spendius is far from being in a position to appreciate Carthage's splendor. He works until exhausted, whipped by guards on the lookout for the slightest indication that he is slacking off. Seemingly forgotten in a secret dungeon, Spendius curses his fate. He would do anything to gain his freedom. Be careful. The sacred precinct is crawling with soldiers. If you are caught, you will be crucified. There is no pardon for escaped slaves. I am Salambo, daughter of Hamilcar and Grand Priestess of Tanith. The goddess has visited my dreams. She told me to come to this place, and so, if I meet you here now, it is because she has chosen you to be my messenger. Obey me in all things, and I will help you escape Carthage. An army of mercenaries is camped outside the city. The most important of their chiefs is named Matho. He gained glory while fighting Rome on behalf of Carthage. I noticed him during a banquet, 
Our eyes crossed, and I haven't been able to forget him. I love him. Go find him and tell him all of this. Tell him to ask my father for my hand in marriage. To prove my love for him, you'll give him a statuette in my image. Have you noticed the carriage and mounts in the yard? A convoy is preparing to leave Carthage. It's the escort of Hannon, the treasurer, who will soon be leaving to go pay the mercenaries. Hide yourself in the bags, and you can leave the city without being detected. Quickly, may Tanith guide you. Following Salambo's advice, the fugitive hides in Hanan the treasurer's bags. This ruse makes it possible to leave the sacred precinct and then the city without being stopped. Hanan and his escort are on their way to pay mercenaries that are camped outside of the ramparts. These men served Carthage during a lengthy war with Rome that was eventually lost. They are impatiently waiting to receive the money that is still owed them. After a short walk, Hannon stops in front of the mercenary camp. The treasurer lectures the men while his interpreter translates for those who do not understand Carthaginian. Hannon orders the Gallic mercenaries to present themselves first, to receive what is due them. The others will then follow in turn. During this speech, Spendius leaves his hiding place. Hindered by the chains around his hands, he unfortunately drops the statuette he was to give to Matho. How will the mercenary chief react when he receives his gift, broken in pieces? A distressing question, for Spendius needs Matho's protection if he is to escape the Carthaginians who will be looking for him. horns of the black demon and escape slave. You'll get your due, you vermin. Spendius has once again fallen into the hands Be Matho? What does a vagrant such as yourself want with Matho? You're a curious messenger. But all right, answer Matho's tent. He can judge for himself. I heard you speak to my guards, Spendius. What is this gift that you bring me? Let me see it. That's your gift? All I see is a broken object. Explain yourself before your skull is in the same condition as this statue. Salambo. By the seven Kabiris, the memory of her beauty is sheer torture. I would like to envelop her, absorb her, and drink her. But you tell the truth. She is really the one who sent you. Repair the statuette and show me. Then I'll know whether or not you've lied. Seven Kabiris. The memory of her beauty is sheer torture. I would like to envelop her, absorb her, and drink her. But you tell the truth. She is really the one who sent you. Repair the statuette and show me. Then I'll know whether or not you've lied. Go find Authorite, chief of the Gauls. 
He has blacksmithing tools. You aren't allowed to leave the camp. Comrade, as I am a Numidian, life is beautiful. I will soon receive the money that is owed me, and until then, I drink spice wine on credit. A wandering wine merchant who left me to watch it. Hello, comrade. As I am a Numidian... What I'm drinking is too strong for you. It's wine mixed with pepper and other secret ingredients. The Carthaginians give this to their battle elephants to ready them for combat. An elephant or a Numidian to appreciate this wine. One day, when we had run out of water, I served it to my mount. It's still running. As for you, I think that you'd fall flat as of the first sip, if you even dare drink any. I am Narhavas, chief of the Numidian cavalry. Why should I help you? You are neither a family member nor a friend. No, Spendius. As soon as I've gotten the money I'm owed, I'll be leaving, as will all the other mercenaries. You will have to handle the Carthaginians on your own. No, there is no room for you in my homeland.
You aren't allowed to leave the camp. That's an order from Matho. You aren't allowed to... Repair the statuette and show me. Then I'll know whether or not you've lied. This road leads to the mountains and backcountry. It crosses dry solitudes infested with the dragons of the sands. Don't go that way. Certainly not. I am responsible for these animals, and I don't entrust them with just anyone who comes along. You aren't allowed to leave the- Ah, slave. You dare come to my tent to steal from me? Authorite? Chief of the Gallic mercenaries? I'll pound you into nothing less than a small cube. Well then, seeing as I've received the money that was owed and I'm in good spirits, I'll give you a chance. We'll play a game of Katab. If you prove to be skilled, you will walk away from here with your miserable life. If you are inept, I'll personally deliver you to the Carthaginians. Ha <laughs> but you'll have to. Your victory, if you beat me, will be all that much sweeter. Here are the rules of the game. Each player takes his turn and throws a helmet towards a shield, aiming for the middle. Grab a helmet and begin. Type of magic! I'm sure you cheated, you miserable scum! May the pestilence strangle you, slave! I'm delivering you to the Carthaginians who will take care of punishing your impudence! Well, here are Game? 
You dare defy me? I'm sure you cheated, you miserable scum. Here are the rules of the game. Each player takes his turn and throws a helmet towards a shield, aiming for the middle. Grab a helmet and be... Game? You dare defy me? I'm sh Here are the Here are the Here are the You played well. In exchange, I'll spare your life. I'll be content with taking these fine metal chains on your wrists. Place your hands on the anvil so that I can remove them. What would I do with you? I've received what I was owed, and as soon as the Carthaginians make ships available, I'll be off to Gaul. Don't forget that you now owe me. Stranger, you're approaching the village of the Eaters of Vile Things. We are Parians. Carthage has rejected us, and we've come to live here in the shadows of the waterworks. Because we believe that any flesh is to be eaten. We have nothing against them. On the other hand, we hate the Carthaginians. No, unless... Might you know how to capture pigs? You're surely not fast enough to catch a running pig. If you have nothing else to offer, be on your way. Halt, stranger. You're approaching... No. Then you're of no use to us. No. You're surely not fast enough to catch a run... Not yet, but it...
You aren't allowed. You aren't allowed. Back, vermin. Or I'll nail you to the ground. Ugh! 